In this video, we will see how to add a new status and how to set up a workflow in CodeBeamer. Workflows allow team members to easily collaborate in their daily working routine to effortlessly managing their daily issues. And what I want to do right now, I want to go to my CodeBeamer. And as you can see here, whether it be a requirement, user stories, change request, features, task, or box, they can all have different and individual workflows. And what I want to do right now, I want to go to my requirements and add a new status in the requirements. Therefore, I'm going to go to my customize field, I'm going to click on customize. And here, I'm in my fields tab. And then when I go down there, you will see I have a choice called status. When I click on options, I will simply just add a new option. And I'm probably going to call this new status, I will call a prototype. Then I'm going to choose it a nice color, maybe give it a light blue. There we go. This is the new status. Then I'm just going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click on OK and save. Then I just created a new status. And now I want to go to my state transitions. This down here is the graphic visualization of the workflows you can see up there. What I want to do right now. I want to add a new workflow transition from new to prototype. Therefore, I will go on my new add transition. And then I'm going to click on new to prototype. And then I will call it testing. Going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click on save. And then you will see it down there in the state transition diagram, the changes occurring. As you can see down there, now I just added a new status called testing to prototype. And if I go up here, all state transitions are based on different roles. So let's assume this state transition is only being allowed by the project admin, the manager, and the developer. Then I'm going to click on save. Now we have it all saved. And this is how we can add a status and a new state transition in CodeBeamer. 